Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatchin' t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go. Report number 58251, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Saturday, September 23, 2017. Wife and husband find tracks, have afternoon sighting near Hell Roaring Ridge. Year 2017, season fall, month September, date 9-22-2017, state Idaho, county Bonner County. Nearest town, Samuels. Nearest road, Pack River Road. Observed. My husband has been working logging in the Hill Roaring Canyon on Pack River for the last two weeks. One day he texted me saying, this is the first day I don't feel alone up here. My husband and I are avid hunters and enjoy our mountain time. The next day I ended up going to work with him. Later on we decided to go for a walk down an old dirt road that isn't accessed with a key to the gate. We came across what appears to be a large footprint. My husband wears a size 12 and this print was a few inches bigger. I have a photo. We never seen or heard anything else that day. On September 22nd we decided to go bear hunting on the other side of the mountain. We also had a key for that gate. We drove in 11 miles and to the left of me there's an old clear cut but saplings growing and must be at least 10 to 15 feet tall. I see something black and standing tall and moving through these trees. I yell at my husband to stop and this black figure is gone. I can't find it anywhere. We continue driving, no luck at all, don't even see a deer. We decide to turn around and go back in this same exact spot which is now on my husband's side. He slams on the brakes and says, what the hell is that? Give me the gun. I hand the gun and lean over to him to see what he's looking at. It's a tall black figure with a head, no ears, very wide shoulders and couldn't see the bottom part there. There was a tree in the way. He stares back and takes a step to the left behind a tree. All this happened within 40 seconds or so. He vanishes again. At this point, I have tears in my eyes and scared to death. My husband was sick to his stomach. Almost to the point of being sick, we were both so confused on what just happened. We started driving and about 400 yards up the road on his side again, he seen something move at, at, the, at the corner of his eye. He looked quickly and these branches on these trees about seven feet high were moving right in a row like something very tall had just ran through pushing them out of its way. We are positive, 100% positive this wasn't a bear or person. We are convinced what we seen last night was, had to have been, Bigfoot. Also noticed, we both thought it was odd we didn't see anything out and the wildlife tracks we we did see were running. It could have been from us or they could have been running from something else that we'll never know. Other witnesses, just myself and my husband. Other stories, we have two tracks, one from this year and one from a year ago in this area. Also there was a logger that said he couldn't wait to leave that area. He never felt like he was alone. Time and conditions, I first seen it right around 545. My husband seen it, I'm thinking close to 620. It got dark at 643 and it wasn't quite dark yet. Things were still vis visible. Environment, this figure was in an old clear cut with freshly planted saplings about five years back or so. They were getting pretty tall. The rest of the area is super thick with timber and old cedar. Stumps about a mile away is Caribou Lake. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Kevin Llewellyn. I talked to the wife and husband by phone. The tracks and sighting were behind locked 
Gates. In October or November 2016, they found a track about 16 inches long and 6 to 7 inches wide, but was somewhat washed out. In September 2017, they found a similar track with five toes, no claws, that was two plus inches deep in drying mud. These tracks were one quarter to one half mile apart. They were about one mile from the siding. On September 22, 2017, while bear hunting, the wives saw for just one second, less than 100 yards away, a black upright figure moved through the saplings. She estimates the figure was eight feet tall. She did not see arms swing. On the way back in the same location, the husband saw a black upright figure of similar height and shoulders three or more feet wide. It was 75 to 100 yards away, and he was amazed at the, um, at the mass of it. It had a rounded head with no ears and no snout. He did not see arms. He said there was no brown nose like a bear. He looked at it for 15 to 20 sec seconds when it stepped to its left behind a tamarack tree as if trying to hide. Tamarack western larch have short needles that turn yellow in the fall and the husband could still see the black figure standing motionless through the yellow buffs. He tried to look through his rifle scope, but in those couple of seconds of getting the rifle out of the window, the figure was gone. Just ten seconds down the road, he saw branches moving seven feet high. The side window was down the entire time, and he did not detect any odor. The husband grew up in northern Idaho. He has been a long-time avid hunter, including bear. As a logger, he is in the forest daily. He was confused at what he saw and was nauseated all the way back to the gate. He also becomes upset recalling the sighting. I find him credible.